So a final progression here for your isometrics. Legs are in tabletop, pelvis stays in neutral throughout. You're gonna take both hands to both knees here. You're gonna inhale first, exhale. Create that connection. Feel your abdominals activate even more as your hands press into both knees respectively. Pressing just enough to connect more into that core, not pushing as hard as you can. Hold that press for the entire part of your exhale. Inhale to take that tension off your hands. Exhale to reconnect. Regular plank here on fully extended arms. You're gonna start with your legs reaching back behind you, hands or shoulder distance apart. Reach through the heels, being thoughtful that you're not rolling forward in that position. You're gonna hold here and as you breathe, exhale, reconnect through that core every time through your breath as you hold and maintain that nice long spine throughout. So we're gonna do a side plank with an oblique challenge. So you're gonna press all the way up. Take your weight, you're gonna reach it straight up towards the ceiling. As you hold your side plank, you're going to exhale as you lower that weight to parallel with the floor. Exhale to lift it back up. As that weight comes forward, hips have a tendency to wanna to sit back. Don't let that happen, press them forward, keep them there while the arm challenges you throughout. Reach, you're gonna inhale here to start, connect those abdominals. Exhale, reach the legs out long, flex through the heels. Inhale here, exhale to pull the knees back in. As you reach long, be sure that your rib cage is not popping up. Also make sure that your neck is not arching back to help you stabilize. Think about looking down towards your pelvis throughout the movement. Inhale here, exhale again. Inhale there, exhale. Pull it all the way back in. So forearm plank with in and out taps. So you're gonna inhale here, exhale, reach one foot out, and then drop it back in. Exhale, move the other leg out, bring it back to center. As you tap out, be thoughtful that the rest of your body stays nice and long, that you're not letting your hips dip or move in the process. Just bring the foot out as far as you can to maintain that nice long spine. And as you get stronger, you can increase the range that you move your foot through. 